Shalom, we give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shad Ba'ashem, Rukhah Gadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and shalom to the elect that's pushing out this word throughout the four corners of the globe. In sincerity and in truth, for the edification of the house of Dawah Dawah, we do these lessons. This is why we do these lessons, for the elect's sake. Um, shalom to you, hope you're in good spirits. Your brother Shamal Mar from the D.C. camp. Shalom to you. Let's get straight into the scripture. The first scripture I'm going to get is, let's get this uh, Jeremiah. Book of Jeremiah. The first verse, first chapter, and we're going to start at the fifth verse Jeremiah says or the Lord actually says to Jeremiah <laughs> before I formed thee in the belly I knew thee and before thou cometh forth out of the womb I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations Jeremiah heard the word of the Lord is you know, I formed thee in the belly, in the womb, and I knew thee because the spirit that was in Jeremiah comes straight from the Heavenly Father. So we definitely know him. And what does it mean to be formed? That's the question. Some people will say, well, you got a head, two arms, two legs, eyes. No, the formation is what? Let's look at the uh, biblical. Let's look at the biblical dictionary. Comes out of the lexicon. It says before. It says I before. In the belly, I knew thee, and cometh forth out of the wound. I sanctified thee, a prophet. Before I knew thee, it's uh, it should be Hebrews three 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 five. Let's look. Hebrews three 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 five. It says three 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 eight to come out. To go out, to exit, to go forth, or to become purpose or for result, to come out of, to cause to go out and come. That's, uh, that's Yatazar. Yatazar, right? Yatazar means to form. Um, I got a different. Uh, entry from Strong's and that would be 33 let's see if I can get it always have problems with this it should be 33 35 that I really want to look at so like you let's um, let's look at 33 35 <clears throat> The only way I know how to do it on the computer is different. Three, 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 five. Ya tazar, ya tazar, to form or framed the purpose, the framework, like pottery, right? I formed the um, man as formed from the dust. This is what Yahweh had purposed or formed. Jeremiah to do is a device of intellectual framework meaning of human activity the divine potter right created this individual to do something with this is his purpose this is what he was formed into um, Renan in the dictionary 
It says to be created, to be predetermined, preordained. Your formation or how you was framed, your framework in your spirit, in your body also. Because the framework of Yahweh is to do certain things with your body and not do certain things with your body. Smoke weed, smoke cigarettes, eat defiled um, creations like crab, shrimp, lobster, pork. These are not considered food in the food category for an Israelite. So you was purpose, your framework, the way you was designed, right, was special for his purpose, for Yahweh's purpose, that's the Heavenly Father. So you were not built like others. You know, like they talk about a Ford truck is built tough where the other trucks aren't. Well, you're different from all the rest. Yeah, you may have a cargo bed. You may uh, be able to uh, go four by four. But something about being built by the Heavenly Father is different than the rest. This is why he calls us a special people. So what were you formed in fashion? What was your purpose? What are the activities of divine nature that you was built for are to do? Isaiah 43 says, it's a lot there. I got to find a way and do that off camera. Yatazar. Salakia. Um, Isaiah 43. It's always a learning process. Isaiah 43. Right? Israel is redeemed. This was your purpose. Your purpose was to be redeemed from impending danger. Out of captivity. Out of your own way where it's called the repentance to be sorrowful or turn back sorrowful from the way you used to be. As a whole, talking about Israel, each individual, like the individual prophets, they were formed not to do certain things, to do certain things. So was Israel as a whole, because we're talking about the whole nation. Now, Isaiah 43 and 21, if you're going to redeem, you have to abide by his, how you would say, your eternal or internal within you, right, the framework, how you were built or how were you meant to be built. Isaiah 43 and 21 says, This people have I formed for myself. Thou shalt show forth my praise. This is the Lord speaking. This is Yahweh speaking, the Heavenly Father. He formed Israel different, peculiar, special. Scriptures say above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Why? Because he wanted you for himself. This was his special people. This is this is his special people and still continuous to this day. But he, but you're built different or you're supposed to be. You're not supposed to be walking uh, uh, any old type way. Uh, what's trending, what's new, what thinks what you think may look flashy. Like twerking is new. Twerking is ancient. For a girl to capture your attention, look at the peacock. Now, you know the peacock got that big old flume. That's the male. That's not the female. The male is so attractive when he shakes his feathers. Right? It attracts the female to have relations with him. Now the women, since they've changed uh, 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 the, um, uh, 
sides, so to speak, if they changed, um, you know, instead of up is down, if they've changed, took the place of, now they shaking their tail feather. They're not supposed to be doing that. See, that's not how you were built. That's not your framework. But you've taken it on, switched places with the guys, and become a whole nother creation. But the Lord didn't build Israel this way. He said he formed you for himself. So it has to be holy. It has to be righteous and perfect. Because he's taken no other. He can't take it no other way. Everything else to him is, is unidentifiable. You become an unidentifiable object. What the hell did, what, what is this? What have they done in their imaginations? Isaiah 1, the book of Isaiah, the first chapter, and the second verse says, Hear, O heavens, talking to Israel, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken, Yahweh has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. O oh, heavens, O oh, ear, give ear. Listen. I brought up children. I formed them. But they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doeth not know. My people doeth not consider what? Their ways, or what they've become, or what they've taken on for themselves. This new creation. Everyone wants to be a designer. Everybody wants a makeover. This is your doing. This is not of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You already created you one way. It says, Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. When you laden with something, it's overlapped, it's drenched with sin and corruption a seed of evildoers children that are corruptors they have forsaken Yahweh they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger they have gone away backwards they don't even know what they're doing they made themselves into this unidentified object why should you be stricken anymore you will revolt more and more, the seed, the whole head, let's get ready to say the seed is sick. The whole head is sick and the whole heart is faint. They have no strength in what they're doing and the way they look. You've taken something that was beautiful, that was chosen out of all the nations of the earth to become something and to be something, and you didn't want that. Matter of fact, you wanted everything the other nations have. Get that. How did that work? You look over to the other nations and believe that they're doing something, but they're not really doing anything. Well, they are doing something. They feed in their appetites. Appetites of the mind, appetites of the flesh, Appetites of the body. And this is insatiable and really habitual. Once you get in the mode of doing things over and over and over and thinking you're getting away with it, it becomes habit. Because there's no real repercussions for your actions. So it becomes Norm, normal, where you start liking the thing that you know is wrong, but you do it anyway. So you lose 
a part of your conscience of who you were made or your framework or who you were made by, uh, made with and by and for. You were supposed to be a light to all the other nations. The light can't go to the other nations until the Israelites receive the light. Some receive the light, and you know what? People want to put a lampshade over the light. Matter of fact, they want to put a towel, right? They want to douse the light. No, 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 it's not that way. Oh, you can't prove. Well, we give you the light because in the end days, the light was going to shine again unto that glorious day of the Lord. But people want to put out your light. People want to douse your framework, create a new creature. That's what the black man is in America, so-called black man in America, so-called Latin man in America, so, so-called native Indian man in America and throughout the world. They've become, or they were created to be something else not who they were meant to be. So yes, Israel, you need a new makeover. You need to be formed and fashioned as the beginning. From, verse 6, from the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it. When you think of sound, sound is wholesome. There is no wholesomeness in your mind and your spirit. From your foot to your head, from your head to your foot, the whole body is sick. But wounds and bruises and petrifying sores, this is all you are. This is how you look, bruised up like a battered child, battered woman. You've been tossed from pillar to post. You look like a beat up, like after after a Mayweather fight, after a, a Joe a Joe Frazier, Joe Lewis fight. You ever see Jack Johnson? Check out his fights. Broken cheekbones, noses. This is how Israel looked, beat up, broken, bruised, with nothing but sores on her body. You need a makeover. Matter of fact, like a woman does, she start from the foundation. You start from the foundation, and then you build yourself up. And this is what Israel needs. It says here, they have not been closed, the, the sores, the bruises, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. You're just there, looking the way you look, nodding out on the corners, hands and feet swollen like balloons, bugged out, poured out. It's disgraceful look is a disgraceful look. You've been brought up a certain way. The Lord brought you up. Let's look at that. Um, brought up. That was in verse uh, in Isaiah 1 and uh, where is it? Uh, you've been brought up. Verse 2. You've been brought up. You've been brought up a certain way. H. 7311, it's uh, Rawam, Rawam. You are to be raised on high, be lofty and exalted, not laying low in a gutter. You're supposed to be lifted. That's why we say, Kwam Yashala. Arise, Israel. Because you're in a low, low place right now, you're in a low state. You're supposed to be exalted and lifted up by the Most High 
because you're doing exactly what the Most High told you to do. This is your pur- This is your, your framework. This is your purpose to be on high. He bi- look. He don't build no dag on lemons, but you've turned into lemons. Like a car, you know, car lemon. It looks good. Paint immaculate. New wheels, no scuffs on the on the rims. You look good. But the engine ain't shh. The transmission is shot. So you can't see those internals. You see that the cup on the outside look good. But inside is a sepulcher full of men's bones. Skeletons. Right here it says... To exalt oneself, magnify oneself. This is where you're supposed to be, magnify. The people are supposed to see you and say, that is a great and powerful and supreme nation right there. Look, look how they God give give to them. They're supposed to be jealous of us. They're supposed to envy us because our God is so great to us. But no, he beat you and and it's the 12th round. Eyes are swollen, lip hanging down to your goddamn chin. Cut me, man, cut me. You need a makeover, yo. You ain't (laughs) brought up right. You ain't brought up right. Something happened. What happened? Jeremiah says in the second chapter and the 21st verse says yet I have planted thee a noble vine nobility is at the highest of the people these are the people these are the ones who make sure the people under them is doing well when the ones at the bottom do well we all do well The Queen of Sheba saw it. She saw it when she came to Solomon's temple. When she came to his house, she saw the servants. She saw how he was living. She saw Israel. Damn. And they supposed to be jealous over our nation's look that they now fashion themselves after us and our power. I need some of that makeup right there. That's why the saying, you put lipstick on a pig, is still a goddamn pig. Zion, Israel, has been corrupted and need to be redeemed. Isaiah, the first chapter, going back, Isaiah 1 and 21. It says, how is the faithful city become an harlot? It was full of judgment, righteousness lodged in it, but now murderous. The silver is become dross, thy wine mixed with water. Anything mixed, anything mixed is not full strength. Mixed wine is watered down. We become watered down. The princes are rebellious and companions of thieves. Everyone loveth gifts and follow after rewards. They judge not the fatherless, neither do if the cause of the widow come unto them or into mine or even be considered. How can a whole industry of gangsters become gangsters of anal. What? I, 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 um, look. It used to be a hip hop, hibbity hibbity hop. <laughs> Down to the boogity beat. Right? Now it's become what? 
bubble baths and and baby oils what what what, what? I'm confused. I'm I'm confused where the rap game for all you youngsters out there thinking the newest latest is the best. All your rappers in the last decade are, are homosexuals. This is this is what it is. They all turn out and it's gonna come out that they love baby oil baths. They like this. This is where they, you know, this is where their um, masculinity shines. You'll see it. All the latest and greatest stars. And plants in the industry to make you follow them. This is why they become iconic. All you got to do is press on their button. You become them. You live your life like them. Look, Michael Jackson, the Jackson 5, the Spinners, they all have sequence clothes, but we ain't walk around with sequence. We ain't walk around like that. We may have an afro. We may have some bell bottoms and some high platform shoes, but we ain't walk around with no goddamn sequence. You must understand that we seen the icons, but we didn't become the icons. That's a whole different fashion. The glitz and the glamour was just to be on stage. It wasn't It wasn't meant for you to live your life like it. It was entertainment. Now you've become it. Your framework is is off your foundations right uh are, are, are sullied they soft they have no uh strength in it it's built on lies and corruption and broken concrete no rebob no reinforcement in today's life you become some other sort I don't even, I, I can't even recognize our people anymore. It just is baffling. Zion is dross when it's supposed to be silver and gold. It says here, therefore save Yahweh, the Lord of hosts, Tazabah, Wap, the mighty one of Israel, I, I will ease me of my adversaries and avenge me of my enemies. I will turn my hand upon thee and purely purge away thy dross and take away all thy tin. Mixed metals need to be purged with fire. It's the only way it's going to come out. Talked about this in other videos. This is the only way to purify metals into its true form. And I will restore thy judges as the, at the first and thy counselors at, at the beginning. Afterward, thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. That hasn't happened yet. We haven't seen this yet. This is yet to be made. We know it's going to happen because his word don't go out void. We know this is going to happen. It has not happened as of yet. Hold on. Salakia. Zion shall be redeemed with judgment and her converts with righteousness. All those that's converted into righteousness that follow Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father and the one who died on the cross from his name who the world known as Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai. They are going to be redeemed. The select few, the elect. And we're waiting on this to happen. We're ushering in the Lord as we speak. You see? The destruction of the transgressors and of the sinners shall be together, and they that forsake Yahweh shall be consumed. They got to get out the way. They got to get burnt. They got to get purged. We can't have them and us together. It does not work. It don't even look good. 
Ephesians 1. Book of Ephesians. First chapter. And the third verse. It says, Blessed be Yahweh, and the Father of our Lord Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in the anointed, according to as he has chosen us in him before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, in doing of the commandments, in following his teachings. The foundation, when you look up the word foundation, right? When you look up him before the foundation, Strong's G, 2602, Katabale, Katabale. Katabale is the injection or the throwing, laying down, right? The, 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 the foundation is the base, right? The injection or depositing of a viral semen in the womb, this is how it begins. This is how it starts. This is the starting period. The starting period is the lowest level, the base. Of the seed of plants and animals, a founding or laying down of a foundation. But when you look up a foundation, let's look up the word foundation, etymon. The foundation is the action of founding, like our founding fathers. This is the beginnings of America, right? Foundation, right? It says a founding to lay a bottom, see found. We're going to look up found. Lay the basis of establish, set, place, fashion. Make. This is how the Lord is going to make the elect. He did this before the foundation of the world. He already made this happen, already written out the script before the world even began. Before first the first verse of Genesis. All of this was already created, even to the end. So he had chosen the elect from the beginning that we should be holy and without blame before him. To the praise and the glory of his grace, wherein he had made us accepted in the beloved. He made us accepted. In whom we have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. That's only of selection. That's not everyone. The foundation of those that began this, right, is made known. Wherein he have abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence. And that's, that's the key right there. The key is that you were made this way and you stuck to the script. You stuck to exactly what he told you to do. Sure, you may have sinned in the past or fell off. But you got right back up. Repented. And continue doing the work. This is the way you were made. You were made to be this way. And then he would choose. Of all the selections. You belong to him. Your body is not your body. Your body belongs to him. Having made known unto us the mystery of his will. 
You don't know why. You just do. Forget why. Just do. His will, according to his good pleasure, which he had purpose for himself. For himself. This is his purpose. I made thee, I bought thee, and I knew thee before you were formed in the womb. Before your, your parents was even formed, I knew you. We're going to come and do and listen and do. That in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in Hamashiach, Yahamashiach. Both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. A lot of people don't believe in predestination. It says it right here. Predestination. Wait a minute. Predestined before the world began. See, a carnal mind can't even fathom that happening. Like it's too hard for the God that they believe in. It can't be too hard for the God they believe in if he God. If he's God. If he's the creator. He can do every and anything. 1 Corinthians 6th chapter and the 15th verse. The Lord can do anyway. The body is the Lord's. Verse 15 says, Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Yahweh and Mashiach, shall I then take, shall I then take the members of Hamashiach Yahweh and make them the members of a harlot? God forbid, you're not made that way. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to a harlot is one body? For two, he said, shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto Yahweh is one spirit. You are one spirit with the Lord. If you join unto the Lord. If you fashioned as in the beginning. Free fornication, every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. You can't sin against... You can't, let me read that again. It says, every sin that a man doeth is without the body. He's not in the body of Yahweh Shah. But he that committed fornication sin against his own body. That's your own destruction you, you, you're working with or working on. That don't make sense. Why would, that don't make sense, right? What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you? which you have of Yahweh, and you are not your own? For you are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify Yahweh in your body. Sin less. Don't sin at all. Try not. And in your spirit, which is Yahweh's. You are bought with a price from the foundation of the world because he made you that way. You must understand. You must understand. And it's not difficult to understand. That redemption. Right. Is the payment. By ransom. And the payment was his blood. You are bought with a price. By the blood to get back with the heavenly father. The place that you're supposed to be in. The original. Talking about I'm the original man. You're not the original man if you don't have the spirit of your high about Shimei Shai. You're not even a man. 
if you don't have the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh You just flesh. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh spirit is not of flesh, but it's of spirit. It makes you different than the rest. It makes you special. Above the rest. A cut above the rest. Grade A. Choice. First Corinthians 11. Negroes don't want to be choice. They want to be ordinary. They want to be like the others. Verse 1. First Corinthians 11. 1. Be followers of me, even I, even as I also am of Hamashiach Yahusha. Now I pray thee, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances that I have delivered them to you. Reiterating what Yahweh Shem Yahushai told Paul to teach, which is the commandments. What are the ordinances if they're not the commandments and judgments? If this happens, go to this law. If this happens, look up this law. Check out this statute. Do this judgment. Because that's what the Lord had already spelled out. We're all a, a, a type of lawyer or judge in instances in our people. This is the way you were made because you was given instructions to be and follow this way. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, is Yahweh. This is the order. The head of Yahweh, there isn't none. There's only one Yahweh. There's only one God. And everyone reports to his instructions and his will. You can't be no other way. You can't be your own power. Oh, you can. You could try, but you ain't going to get you nowhere. Because now, how are you going to buy your own freedom? <laughs> you can't buy your own freedom. Philippians 3. Last couple of verses. Hopefully, this is the last couple of verses. Um, Philippians 3, and we'll start at 17. Well, let's read the title real quick. The goal of life. You can't be your own. You can't buy your own freedom. Philippians 3 and 17. Bre uh, brethren, be followers together of me. See, you always a follower of something. You can't be your own. Uh, 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 you can't be your own, what's the saying go? You can't be your own boss or something. You know, I'm a boss. That's the new phraseology nowadays. I'm a boss. Women are bosses. I'm my own boss. No, you're going to have to follow somebody. Somebody going to tell you what to do. Somebody got some rules and regulations for your ass. I'm my own boss. In your mind, in your head, you ain't no boss. What's the name of that show? Oh, I forget the name of that show, but the boss becomes the, the employee and he goes around and he speaks to other employees. Well, I should, you know, if I, if I was boss, I'd do it this way. Yeah, he incorporates some things and helps some people out, but he sees the loyalty that they have with this job and the position that they're in Instead of bucking up against, they keep it to themselves and do what they're supposed to damn do. Then when 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 the undercover, undercover boss, when the undercover boss comes in and he sees your diligence and your loyalty to the company, how you have such great ideas, he's going to incorporate those great ideas because now he's on your level. And this is what Yahweh Shai did. He came down to our level to see what we was dealing with. Of course he knew. But to do it yourself 
is a whole nother outlook. It creates a whole new look on the conditions of his people. He lowered himself to be us, to see what, what he had put against us. You got all these temptations. He got all this uh, uh, things that, that, that want to sway you and persuade you to do outside of, of righteousness. He sees it. He knows it. He's been through it. He knows our plight. Be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as you have us for an example. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Yahweh Shai. These are the ones that think they're boss. I'm boss. I'm the head. I'm in charge. Everyone has a boss. Even the bosses have bosses. Trust and believe. You're going to have to answer to somebody whose end is destruction. Those who go against Yahweh Shai and the workings and the will whose God or their power is their own belly. That's their own innards. And whose glory is in their shame. Who mind earthly things. These are carnal thinking. I'm boss. I'm in charge. For our conversation is in heaven. From whence also we look for the savior. The Lord Hamashiach Yahweh Because he's truly the boss. Don't get it twisted. Who shall change our vile body. That makeover. That it may be fashioned. Like unto his glorious body. According to the working whereby. He is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Now that's boss. <laughs> that's boss. He's going to change give you a makeup like you've never seen before, that you were never able to, to even fathom beyond your wildest imagination if you endure to the end and if you are one of the founding fathers, the founding, true founding fathers of this script. We give all praise and honor and glory. Shalom to you.